slugs on the sale by burning them. I need an adult timeout? Yes. Why? I think I found the perfect location for your timeout. I give you 10 bucks if you jump. Oh, 10 bucks. Uh, I'm extremely nervous to leave Little Miss. We've done all that we can. It's supposed to be a cat five. I'm really, really worried. We're hoping that it doesn't hit right over us. Stefan is gone and it's time to clean up and find some more crew. We are going to clean up the boat. I'm gonna do my makeup. We're gonna do some laundry. Yeah, we're gonna see what we can get into. Pearl's next door, sleeping away. We're gonna do one boat project today and uh, tomorrow we're gonna go diving. So I'm super stoked about that. We have about 10 days before we go back to California and take the kids to the Gigi and the dad so that we can start soloing. So I'm super stoked about that. In other news, my MacBook isn't turning on again. So a change of plans, we're gonna head over to Apple. While we still have that car that Stefan rented yesterday, we're gonna go see if we can have that fixed because I need to edit these for you guys. I'm gonna get a Starbucks. I'm having a little bit of a rough day. Feeling kind of sad that Stefan's gone. And kids are arguing, everything's kind of off kilter because he's not here. I don't know, just feeling weird. Not, not my day, which would be a day that I would maybe not wanna film, but I'm just gonna push through because I love you. Is here. We have had our coffee. We are now going to go to shore and we're going to adjust the slugs on the sail by burning them. I have two things here in my hand. One are calipers. Calipers? Well, someone's gonna correct me. The other is a soldering iron. It has butane in it. And with these two items, I am going to adjust the size of the slugs in the sail. Am I crazy? Maybe. But I think it's gonna work. So let's go up top, let's measure. Let's make some decisions and let's go burn some shit. We got the calipers and we're gonna measure this opening right here. What's happened is that the shoulder of the slug is a little bit too big to fit in there. What do you think? 5.4, 5.3-ish. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the soldering iron and we're going to melt the shoulder of the slug. Very exciting. And here we have Cyril, the Sherpa. <laughs> oh, that's the Sherpa. Laundry day and sale day. What today and shopping. Shopping. Groceries. Are you hungry? Not right now. You look hungry. Later. <laughs> Maybe I will be. I really feel like a soup, like a tomato soup or a butternut soup. I thought you wanted a van full of candy. <laughs> Dingy rides. We're getting there. Slowly but surely. It's time for your timeout. I need an adult timeout? Yes. Why? And I think I found the perfect location for your timeout. Are you dropping me off on an island? Could be considered an island. Oh shoot. Oh no! It's like an Al Alcatraz island, right? It's a very small Alcatraz, I'm not gonna lie. There's a robin on top. No, it's not a robin, it's like some kind of Trump seabird. Bird. Should I go investigate? I think that the dried bird poop is gonna cut my feet. No. Oh, look, you've got eyebrows. Hey, eyebrows. On a scale of one to ten, it's gonna fall off. I have your phone, so it's fine. Hi. I give you ten bucks if you jump. 10 bucks? My you don't need makeup, girl. You gonna jump? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. I feel like I should leave it there. You ready to go do work now? Sherpa named Cyril. 
I will have to say that the just sheer volume of laundry has gone down substantially since the kids have been at my mom's. Look, it's my nickname, Manatee Queen. She put down the hamburgers. Right, watch this guy behind me. He's not trustworthy, he is. Okay, and we're in. Looks like someone's being interrogated in here. <laughs> Good thing there's not a wet towel on the ground. <laughs> Interrogation. Is that what I need to do? Tell me all your secrets. Waterboarding. Yeah. You know how to do it? No? Can we practice on you? It's not Come like on. Be a, water tap. be a sport. Yeah. Why can't I waterboard you? My mom will kill you. And then everyone else in your car. Old mommy dearest. Yeah. Be careful of big, strong Afrikaans woman telling you now. Words to take to heart. Sounds like a challenge. <laughs> now we're gonna go work on our project that we're gonna do for YouTube, uh, which is taking the shoulder off of the slug so that they fit into the slide on the boot. Ah! Help! Help! Crazy driver. If any of you guys were wondering, I work for Searle. <laughs> and then we're gonna get some seat jams up in here. Tell me what to do some more. The, we're gonna go ahead and call this the slug, because that's what it is. We're gonna call this the shoulder of the slug, and it doesn't fit into the slide. It is 7.12, and our slot is five and some change. We're gonna take the soldering iron, and we're gonna melt this right here. I know what you're thinking, it's a terrible idea, but I disagree. Did some melting. Now we're doing some final checks. Wrap up to be safe. This, my friends, is the very professional tool that we're going to use to straighten out the rigging. If you were watching before, when uh, Stefan and I were sailing this boat, he was having me tighten this piece and that piece and that piece and this piece. What I have learned is that is not how you straighten and tighten the rigging. And we are gonna show you how to do that right now with the coolest sailor I know named Jim. He is like an angel in a boat called Aurora. It's like golden wings, we'll show you over there. He knows a little bit about everything and enough to help us make this right. So I'm super stoked. We have this piece of paper that is going to make up a right angle. It actually kind of looks like a sailboat if you ask me. And um, we're gonna take two radios and a dinghy. We're gonna go uh, away from the boat so we can get some perspective, which is always a great way to get perspective, move away from the situation. And we will straighten this sucker out. I see a beautiful little wave at the top that I only wanna see in the surf, so let's get rid of that sucker. All right, the lesser spotted African is loosening the secondaries, the shrouds here. Am I loosening or am I tight? He's not sure what he's doing, but it looks good. Yeah, it's quite loose. You yeah. want it loose or more? Not? Twice as loose. But you yeah, only got so much. Okay, take it as far, if you're light on threads, just take it as far as you can without losing sight of the threads. Go with that. What I usually do is hold the swage with that and then I put a screwdriver in it inside the turnbuckle. Do that. What's with your that's a that's a That's a wax telltale. Whoa! So, yeah, that is my, that's my wax telltale. That's what I had and that's what we use now and it is malfunctioning like so many other things on this boat, but we love it because it's pink in our boat. Hot pink fuzzy yarn works really well. Hot pink fuzzy yarn. That is fitting. How are we doing down there, sailor? It's as far as I'm willing to go on that one. That's perfect. 
Okay. That's perfect. I first noticed that the rigging was super curved from the head. Sitting on the floor in here looking up at the mast contemplating my life and I was like, oh no, it is waving. And Jim came over and he's like, have you noticed that there is a hard curve in your mast? What we're doing is we are loosening everything. We're not loosening everything. We're loosening the secondaries, the shrouds. And then we're gonna go away from the boat and see if it's straight. Cyril and I are gonna go start at the front and count turns and then go to the back and count turns and get everything nice and tight and hopefully Bob's your uncle. I am gonna make my way out there onto the horizon. I'll use my homemade right angle, find the horizontal plane and use my vertical for the mast and see which way my winder <laughs> So technical. <laughs> Check your ink. Stand by 71. Standing by. I'm so mean. <laughs> I did nothing. I was an angel. Poor Pearl. Poor Pearl. All right, now let's see if Cyril can get his angles right. <laughs> Hold your little square all the way out at arm's length. You should be able to, it should cover from nearly the top of the mast down to the deck. If it does not, all you have to do is get further away. Not by leaning off until you fall in the water, buddy. I think if you just jump up on the dock over there, you should be about the right distance. <laughs> yes. Can you guys spot Pearl on the horizon? Slide, 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 positive right to the bow. Really? Well, that's not cool. We need to check the tension now that we've loosened everything else up on these backstays, which are getting pushed against by the bimini. Good. Bianca is now at my mom's house, which you guys are gonna see next week, and she's really enjoying herself. Blake is with his dad, and so it's just me and Pearl. I have been procrastinating a little bit. Stefan is gone. He is in South Africa, and he doesn't have a return date at all, which is fine. I think he is gonna be a lot happier. Little Miss was a little bit too small for him. That's okay. You know, I pinked it out for a reason. Girls rule, boys rule. Just kidding, I love you guys so much. The sailing community is mostly guys, and I just wanted to represent for the ladies out there sailing. There are a handful of you that are awesome, and I love you so much, and I think there need to be more girls out there sailing and doing their thing. Thank you guys so much for watching this week. I am going to continue to procrastinate for the next couple of weeks doing repairs. If I'm being really honest, I have my captain's license now and thousands of miles under my belt all over the world and that ocean still scares the hell out of me. I'm just gonna go ahead and put that in the healthy column. It's it's scary and to think about going out and soloing is, is scary. You know, it's nice to have another adult to kind of bounce your ideas off of, even if they agree with everything you say, you have this like little bit of confidence knowing that there's someone out there with you. This is gonna be a really big growing experience for me and um, Cyril's gonna be on Moonlight, so there will be some backup, so I'm stoked about that. And I have met some of the coolest people sailing, like Jim, who you guys are gonna see around. He is so knowledgeable. He's been sailing for 30 some odd years and has really helped us a lot. I appreciate that deeply. Um, that's one of the things that I love about the sailing community. The fact that everybody's so willing to share information and knowledge and that is super cool. I really, really appreciate and enjoy that a lot. There's gonna be a day when I run into one of you guys out there who's just starting off and I'll be able to give you my knowledge. I'm gonna be super stoked for that. So the sailing community is awesome. It's one of the reasons that I decided to stay on the boat. When I had uh, the decision and the option to get off and, and not continue on this journey. New Horizons, very exciting. Next week you guys are gonna see me in California and Bianca and then after that we're going to Mexico.
Mexico via plane, which makes me feel like a cop out. But we are checking Searle out because of his visa, and then we're gonna head to Bimini. So lots of big plans, places to see, things to do, big exciting news coming up in the future. So stay tuned. I love you guys so much, and I will see you next week on Go See. Mwah!